guys we're getting ready to put this uh, pontoon in the water here um, we basically um, this was kind of all tore up I don't think it was leaking or anything but um, put a lot of gummy marine weld uh, JB weld stuff in there and just kind of a, a precaution to seal it up and then put new uh, plugs in both sides and we ended up getting for a reasonable price a Suzuki um, 10 horse now before you get your panties in a bunch yeah it'd been nice to had uh, a much larger engine and whatnot but uh you know i had to do with what i what i have i mean I, whatever my finances can uh throw me that's what i have to do so we got this you know for pretty decent price and uh it'll move it you know if we do six seven knots we do six seven knots that's all we're doing with the ski boat anyway so uh and then like i said we put another one in here and uh I got all my fuel tanks filled because we're trying to get out of here tomorrow. Washed up some dishes. We got uh, our anchor and that here. We put some rod holders in here to carry the uh, carry the rods so we're not stumbling over them anymore. Basically, we've got a you know basically a bed right here, but uh, and then uh, this for a for a. Uh, kind of a little uh, table or something to work on whatever and uh, we basically did get this to we can if you can see it back there we can actually steer the boat from uh, there because we got this all hooked up nothing fancy but uh, you can sit here and steer it it came with this like, grill I think I showed it before it's just a charcoal grill they took the guts out but I secured it back here um, and again, before you get your panties in a bunch, you know, we'll move the fuel tanks out of here when we grill fish or whatever. But uh, that's where we're at with that. Um, you can see a lot of real estate here. Uh, we cleaned all of these out. And then we put the storage, uh, you know, uh, all my stuff in there and for storage. So this will, we'll put this in uh, tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to try and get out of here. Um, I've got to fill one more jug there. Butch give us a couple of these uh, nice jugs here that can carry uh, potable water. And we'll fill one more and put it on here. We have our, uh, our uh, fire extinguisher and we got a horn and uh, stuff. But uh, we got a ton of work to do, but I want to get going. And, you know, it's time to time to just kind of get uh, moseying along here. Uh, I've been idle here for a week and uh, I don't want to sit here any longer. I want to get going, get moving along. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, yeah, that's, I guess that's about it. Oh, and then we bolted these. These were all loose. Uh, they had them tied, so we bolted them all. We bolted them all down, all four corners. And, you know, I'm going to just roll some, run some tarps here on both sides and one on the back maybe and maybe just leave the front open so I can see. It's just mostly keeping the dew off us for now and it's a cheap way to go because, again, we just don't have a ton of money to till we get back working again. Uh, so we're going to watch our P's and Q's when it comes to our, our uh, you know, our money and uh, whatnot. But... Uh, it should uh, should do the trick. I fired this up the other day, and for a quick, just you know, just a, you know, quick second, whatever, just everything seems to be all right. So, we'll, uh, you know, uh, over time, we're going to redo this, put a new uh, three quarter inch um, piece of uh, uh, wood in there and stuff, and get this all doctored up because we would want to put probably a thirty five or a forty horse on there. And I think William's bringing down a 35 horse motor. It's an older one, but he said it runs really good. So we'll, we'll maybe put that on there. Who knows? And again, we're just trying to, you know, I did want to bottom paint this, but I'm just out of time and I'm not going to worry about it. We'll, we'll uh, deal with that at another time. Because we, like I said, we got to get going. We got to get making tracks. 
we've been sitting too long. We're not, uh, there's no income coming in, so we've got to get going because we have got to get down to the keys and and uh, get to work and start making some moolah. Again on the Huck, Huck Finn Tom Sawyer uh, riverboat here. Um, so we are cruising along. We definitely can use a long shaft on that. We get a little bit of cavitation if we get some a boater going by. I think I can adjust that transom and make that a little bit lower once I get a day to do that and stuff. But you know, it works good. We're steering. We can do about, if I'm wide open on the little motor, I can almost do seven knots. So I've got it down about half. I'm doing about four and a half, five knots. And it's a little slow, but hey, what the heck? It's, you know, it's it's a lot better on fuel and it's moving along, uh, you know, and that's the key is just trying to get down in the fuel. I got a guy behind me, so he's gonna, you can see what I get there. This, this guy's just gonna blow my walls off. <clears throat> or I'll, I'll cavitate quite a bit. But we are about to make the turn here. We're gonna go down around and up and around and going to Smack's, uh, Smack Bay, um, which is what Butch suggested. Just a good little trial and gets me down close to the, the river where I can you know, pop into the river, a little smaller uh, thing. Tomorrow's gonna to be a little bit calmer. Uh, we got an east wind today, so it's kind of blowing up the bay. But uh, it'll work, it'll work. So let's, uh, let's continue on. Well, guys, this is home for the night for the uh, new salty shanty, which we've painted on the back. Butch painted that uh, last night before we put it in this morning. Um, anyway, we are on the back side of Tyndall Air Force Base. Tyndall Air Force Base lies right out in here, so maybe we'll see some planes going up and down. It'd be kind of cool. Look like we got a good little spot right here. Um, should uh, drop right down to almost nothing tonight. And be in good shape we're gonna just set the tent up in here and we'll end up uh being in pretty good shape we've kind of moved everything to the back because being that that was a short shaft we got a little cavitation going on and i thought it was a prop which said no i think you got some cavitation going on get, get all your weight in the back so that's what we did put the water jugs back here the field jug and things of that nature but we're going to get these rods and stuff squared away and we are going to get ready to uh, throw some lines out and see what we can't uh, catch uh, for supper. If not, we've got some soup to uh, soup and rice to uh, get by tonight, but I'd like to catch some. We did pick up a cast net, so um, couldn't couldn't beat it. It was on sale. I got it for $18, an eight-foot cast net, and it had some good lead on it, so we should be able to use that to catch some bait. We'll try it later tonight. 
we'll maybe throw it out here. It's a little deep. It's probably not going to, anything that's in there might get away, but we might get some pinfish, which uh, it'll give us a chance to fish some reds or something in here. And, and of course, some uh, uh, snapper and, uh, and uh, um, anything else that wants to kind of grab on. Uh, maybe some uh, speckled trout up in here. I don't know. But anyway, this is going to be home for the night. Um, you know, Huckleberry Finn says, uh, let's... Uh, Let's chill it out, man. We are living the dream, my friends. We are living the dream. Well, guys, we are coming into Apalachicola, and what a beautiful morning, huh? Definitely a lot of dew, um, but... Uh, yeah, we wanted to get another video going for you guys, and I uh, want to thank everybody for the uh, um, all the uh, tips that went in the tip jar. Um, I'll put a list up of everybody here. I've been keeping everybody's uh, names and stuff. I won't I won't put first and last name. I'll just put the first name of, of everybody that uh, has done that. So yeah, the tip jar has kept this uh, trip alive for sure, for sure, and has kept fuel in the. Uh, in the uh, boat and, and whatnot but just look at that isn't that glorious you know it's it's crazy but uh the when it comes to life you know the uh you know you may really get down and you may have some awful rough days and things of that nature but it's always the highs that uh outweigh the lows you know and, and in life there's probably more lows than there is highs but the highs uh just cancel the lows right out like a day like right now you know we're sitting here and you know, if I had some coffee, which I got to pick some up, uh, you know, to sit here and have a nice cup of coffee and throw the pole out and cast, people pay huge money for something like this. People sit, you know, in cubicles and they just uh, can't, can't wait to do something like this. Uh, and uh, here we've done it on such a grand scale, you know, we're, we're, into, we're into it for about four months already and we'll pro you know, we'll probably be into it another four months, uh, um, you know, as long as we can keep... Uh, keep traveling and keep fuel in here and keep uh, food in my belly um, we'll keep doing it but uh, you know it's just glorious isn't it just beautiful absolutely beautiful it's all we've got is the birds out here and uh, I had a pelican land on my on the pontoon uh, last night um, I, it kind of scared me at first but you know and and I don't care you can land on there and sit there for a while don't matter to me he was just looking for a free <coughs> excuse me a free meal but uh the only bad part is he he pooped on the darn deck but <laughs> it's all right you know it's we're not looking at a fifty thousand dollar pontoon you know this 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 old bugger can handle a little bit of pelican poo poo but yeah it's just uh just beautiful to sit here and, and uh, relax and wake up to this uh, uh, glorious uh, sunrise and it's just uh, can't beat it. I ran as far as I could last night. I even ran a little bit into the dark for a little bit because I, I really wanted to make it to Apalachicola. I'm only four miles away so you know it won't be nothing this morning. We'll go down there and see if we can find a coffee shop, uh, get some coffee and uh, work on getting a video up for you guys and keep you guys uh, abreast of what's going on so now that we're down here we're going to try and uh, get some fishing in here in the next day and see if we can't pick up some uh, oysters and uh, and uh, whatnot but uh, a lot of speckled trout in this area so we'll see if we can't maybe pick up some of those all right guys we are going to let you go